the, the, the real problem here is that the, the Prince Harry is not going to come back without Meghan unless for some reason they separate or something or something goes badly wrong. So I don't think she shows any wish at all to come to this country because she's not actually very popular in this country. He too, of course, has been complicit in a lot of the things that have been said, which have been quite unpleasant towards the royal family. But I've always felt that he was acting rather on instruction. So I, I would think it was more likely that he would come back on his own at some point. But I don't see that in the immediate future. And in fact, I think it would be a distraction because you know people are always talking about Harry and Meghan the whole time. And you know what what we need to concentrate on in this country really is the king and the working royals and all the things that they're achieving for Britain and the Commonwealth and doing things for our good. And if Prince Harry came back, you know, the chances are that people would be wondering why he was back and what he was really up to and whether he was doing things to help or whether he was doing things on his own account. So at the moment, I think it would be very counterproductive, to be quite honest. I don't think that you can um, uh, assume that from one birthday message, that means that all is forgiven and everybody's going to be happy and he'll come straight home. But obviously, it's a step in the right direction. I did, on the other hand, think that it was quite a formal message. In fact, what they did, as far as I, I could gather, is to sort of retweet what the king had sent. Um, and it was all rather formal, talking about him calling him the Duke of Sussex and things. And so it wasn't um, it wasn't the most um, enthusiastic of messages. On the other hand, uh, a message was sent, and that was very polite and quite correct. And actually, what everybody should always do in life is behave correctly and politely, and then they can't be faulted. Having said that, of course, uh, the media has tried to uh, make mischief out of it by saying that Meghan was cut out of the picture and so forth. But the picture that I saw just showed Prince Harry looking quite happy. I think it was taken in 2018 and there he was with a glass of water. So um, that was a that was a good start, I guess. I, I thought probably that um, there was so much media attention on this birthday that if they hadn't sent him a message, that would have rebounded rather badly on them. And they lose nothing by sending a message. Um, as I say, if, you're, if you behave correctly and politely, you can't be faulted. And I think that's what they did on this occasion. Well, I think that the main point really is that it was the 40th birthday, which is a big milestone, and therefore one that should be respected more than other birthdays. Um, so it may well be that uh, no message is sent next year. I can't predict that at all, obviously. Um, but I, what I really think is that because there was so much attention on this birthday, it would have looked very bad if they hadn't sent a message, and they did, and it was a rather formal one. It wasn't particularly warm, but it was perfectly polite, and it was a message wishing him a happy day. And, um, you know, that's really all that one can say about it. I don't uh, it's obviously a step in the right direction, but I'm not sure how big a step it is, to be honest. We don't know that what's been going on behind closed doors, but I suspect nothing has been going on behind closed doors, to be quite honest. Um, I think that, um, uh, you know, this was a, a, a public statement, um, and that's really all it all it was. Um, and, and the royal family are good at sending out these messages from time to time. I mean, it's pretty much automatic, really. Um, in the past, uh, people like the Duke of Windsor always got a message on his birthday, that sort of thing. Uh, that There's no reason to suppose it's anything more than that. But having said that, of course, there's always the hope of reconciliation. And every small step that can be taken towards being friendly towards somebody who's been a bit distant is always a good thing. So maybe maybe it is a step in the right direction, but I don't think it's a very big step. Well, it's very hard to know what he would think. Um, if I, I mean, I can only just project what I would think if I was him, and I would feel that probably I would think it was all a little bit formal and um, not particularly warm. That's, I think, what I would think if I was him. But I can't really tell you what he would think. I don't know. Um, he He'd probably be quite pleased to have got some sort of a message. And of course, it may be that the king spoke to him. There was some talk that the king might have spoken to him on the telephone. That would be much more important. But, you know, that's private between them. We won't know about that. But there was some suggestion that that might happen. Well, I feel that really the trouble is that the media has directed so much attention on this birthday. Uh, every newspaper that you read tells you what they think Prince Harry should be thinking and what how he must be contemplating his future. They analyse everything he says because 
one of the things he says is that he very much enjoys being a father, and I'm sure he does, of the two children. People interpret that as, well, why doesn't he say he likes being a, big, a good husband as well? You know, they always find something in it. But um, probably the media in general has probably spent more time thinking about his birthday than he has. But um, 40 is a big milestone. Um, he's a little bit further along the path of life because he's married with, with the two children. But inevitably, he must be wondering what the future holds. And of course, after the age of 40, they would say, well, you know, you really have to get on with it. You can't you can't sort of, um, you know, be <laughs> you're not a teenager anymore, are you? Or you're not a youngster anymore. You know, you're in command of your own destiny. And that, of course, has brings with it responsibilities. Um, anyway, I hope he had a nice time with his friends um, uh, out and about. I think he probably needed to get out and let his hair down a bit and have a bit of fun. And um, if Megan has allowed him to do that on his birthday, well, all uh, very good, good on her, basically.